Hi, everybody. Good evening. So, hello, hello. How are you doing, guys? Hello, good evening. There is a video, you know, that I feel very comfortable with. The one that is like, buenas, buenas. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like that. <laughs> How are you? I am fine. Amazing, amazing guys. Como les está yendo on Wednesday. Are you good? So, como está la lluvia in your houses? Todos están en casa? Are you home already? Yes. Uh, in my case, yes, it's not raining this moment. It's raining. Wow. It's raining. Wow. Okay, so it's raining. Wow, okay. But thank you guys. Gracias a todos por conectarse. So thank you so much for being here, guys. Gracias por conectarse. Gracias por unirse a la sesión. Uh, number number 8 today, you know, it's Wednesday, like the belly bottom of the week, and we have a lot to check today. So, uh, give me one second. Okay, there we go. So, okay guys, so gracias, gracias por siempre conectarse, you know. I know that eh, el cambio de lluvia, you know, el clima, etc. nos afecta mucho, pero me alegra siempre verlo súper tempranito, you know, ready to learn, ready to change your life, to have more opportunities and, you know, to rock it. Especialmente porque hemos avanzado bastante este módulo. So, eh, han perdido más el miedo, you know, so you're practicing more. Eh, se están aventando más a hablar and you are putting in practice a lot of vocabulary así que let's keep on going let's get started con la asistencia guys me ayuden con su camarita please uh, for some minutes I want to see your faces gracias eh, Jocelyn gracias Moses for having your camera ready uh, no importa que, no, que estén medio desmeluchados you know? <laughs> that's fine that is just to see you so, a ver que están ahí, you know, like, to know you're right there, no sentirme como una sesión de espiritismo or anything. <laughs> so, like, calling your names and not knowing if you are there or not. Um, mm, mm, so, I saw Norbert super ready. Richard, how are you? Guadalupe, hello. I can see you now. How are you? Como les va el miércoles? Everything good? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Good evening. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo les está yendo? Uh, How are you doing? ¿Cómo se dice tarea? Homework. Homework. Uh, difficult. The video. <laughs> yes. Why? Tell me why. Yes. Me ha tomado mucho Real. tiempo. Is it taking uh -huh. some time? No, lo que pasa es que la hago correctamente y no, y no funciona esa cosa. Oh, se refiere a la plataforma. You mean yes. the platform. Yes. Ok, no, no worries. Creo que... Creo que no, no voy a si... presentar ahora este semana. No, tarea. no, 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 no. No, ya no. Ya, <ríe> ya no, está ya, en el midterm. Está en ya, el examen. Pues sí, no, sí, ya, ya avancé. Lo único que la, la de is there y are there la escojo correctamente y por gusto. Todo sale mal. Ok, no sé si se recuerda, les mencioné de un ejercicio en específico que eh, no iban a poner la oración completa, sino que iban a poner solo lo que hacía falta, como el short form. Si gusta al finalizar la clase, eh, vemos eso. Voy a, eh, voy a recordarme, voy a dejar un par de minutitos para que revisemos algún ejercicio que les esté dando problemas. Eh, igual, Brian me comentaba temprano que en la parte del midterm, él había tenido dificultades sí, con... Y con la instrucción más que todo, porque no era de escribir la oración completa, que sino no se era entiende. solamente de, de identificar el error y escribir esa palabra, la forma correcta dentro del espacio. 
So, uh, ya lo vamos a revisar, no worries. But, but don't, don't get so concerned. No se me preocupe mucho, you know. So, ya lo vamos a solucionar, Richard. Ah, pues póngame no. 10. No puedo. It's not in my hand, sorry. Le pondría no, 11, no. pero no póngame puedo manipularlo. 10, ya. Ya, 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 I cannot no. do it. Pero lo importante es que you got the topic. So, that is what matters. Okay, guys. So, me ayuden con confirmación, please. Anita, hello, Anita. How are you? Hello, teacher present. I'm Thank fine. You. Very yes. good. Thank you so much for being there. Brenda. No sé si Brenda ya está por acá. Okay. Uh, Brian. Now, Carlos. Hi, Carlos. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Thank you. Mm, creo que Dani se estaba conectando. Can I see him? Eh, Guadalupe. Hi, Guadalupe. Hi, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. Uh, Natalie. Not Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Hi, teacher. There you go. Amazing. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Nice, nice. ¿Cómo está la lluvia en esa zona? Everything good? Ya están en casa, guys? No, nadie va en camino, right? So nobody is, is on the way. Um, Jocelyn, I saw you already, super early. Thank you so much. Ignacio, creería que todavía no. Norbert, hi Norbert. Teacher, present. Thank you. Thank you so much. I miss seeing your camera today. <laughs> Siempre lo veo like, like almost every day, but thank you. I know you're there. Uh, Marvin, hello, Marvin. Creo que lo vi some seconds ago. How are you? Hi, hi, teacher. I'm fine. Hi. Very good. Great, great. Are you home already? Are you working? Yes, I be my home. Hi, nice, nice. Super good. So you won't get wet. Marvin Lopez, what about your tocayo? Marvin? Marvin, Marvin, no, not yet. Uh, Clary? Hi, Clary Bell. Hello, How Miss. Are How Hi. are you doing? I'm doing just fine. It's Wednesday. I love Wednesdays. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Pedrina, también vi a Pedrina some seconds ago. Rene? Rene, Rene, no, not yet. Ricardo, yes, Richard hello, was here. Hello. Hello. Whenever I say hello, hello, I feel like buenas, buenas. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, so there you go. Sandra, Sandrita, hello. Sandrita. Sandra. No, no. Oh, yeah, she's there. Uh, Mabel. Hi, Mabel. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Thanks a lot for joining. I'm glad to see you. Eh, OK, gracias, Ingrid. No worries. Lo importante es que you're there, que nos pueda escuchar, and you could eh, practice with us later. No problem. Eh, Moses, no sé si se me quedó. Moses, no recuerdo. Call your name. No, I didn't, right? So thank you, Moses. Gracias por estar ahí. Thank you so much. OK. Me falta de René. I'm missing René. All right. Okay, everybody, so thanks a lot for that. We are going to um, practice today like a new topic. Let me first present my screen para que tengamos like some idea what is going on today. Vamos a hablar un poquito de prohibiciones. We are going to be talking today about prohibitions, cosas que no puedo hacer en el trabajo. Así que let's pay a lot of attention so we can practice as much as we can. Um, okay, first, Yesterday, we checked some vocabulary about uh, office items, office things. So tell me, the, que se oh, the question is wrong. I'm sorry, I skipped it. OK, so from yesterday, ¿qué palabras se recuerdan? What questions do you remember that you learned from yesterday? Sin ver el cuaderno, right? Without checking your notebook, just whatever comes to your mind. What do you remember?
you can uh, activate your microphone. Hola, Pedrina. No worries. Doctor. Thank you, Sandra. Yes? Richard? Doctor. Doctor. Okay, yes. Briefcase. Briefcase. Okay. What about something that is not real? For example, uh, we were talking about plants. I showed you this plant, this flower, but this clown, is not clown. real. This is? Clown. Clown. Baker, miss. Baker. Oh, Singer. no, I, I mean, oh, wait, wait. Creo que están viendo la presentación. <laughs> so I was into, into yesterday's vocabulary. Okay, wait, I will stop. <laughs> I will stop presenting para no confundirlos. Okay, so, del vocabulario que vimos ayer, from the vocabulary we checked yesterday. Fake plants. Fake plants, okay, ¿qué más? Uh, copy machine. A copy machine, exactly. That a copy machine is nuestra fotocopiadora. Very good. Table, ¿Qué más se Table. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Calculator. Calculator. Coffee machine. A coffee machine. Very nice. Ahora sí, let me present this so we can go over uh, the exercise. <laughs> Sorry, I think I confused you. Okay. Now, uh, to get started, we have this part here that is guess the job. Tenemos palabras random in a random order, but they refer to jobs. So I want you to help me identifying what is the job, right? So the first, ¿cuál es el primero? What is the first? Break. Break. Mm, pero como un trabajo, like as a job. Baker. Baker. Okay, so let me just take a look here. Hold on. Yeah, that's Baker. For some reason it moved. Okay, so that would be Baker. What about the second? Ya tiene la primera letra. The first letter is given for you. Dentist. A dentist? Hey, you're yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. Dentist. Very good. What about the third? What is number three? Clown. Okay. What does a clown do? Es como payaso, clown, ¿verdad? Yes, exactly. What McDonald's does a clown. clown do? Okay, <laughs> okay, McDonald's clown, yes. What do they do? ¿Qué hacen? What do they do? Eh, a ver, permit, espera. No worries, alguien más, somebody can help us? What does a clown do? Mientras um, Alex organiza his ideas. Enjoy, enjoy a party. Enjoy a party, okay. Entertain to entertain a party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a clown. Also, they put on makeup, right? Se ponen maquillaje, so they put on makeup. Okay, the next one. What about this one? What is this? Does anybody have it? Teacher, teacher. A teacher, okay. Wow, uh, you are good. <laughs> so you're really fast at puzzles, okay. Yeah, that's a teacher, exactly. What about the next one, this one? Mer far, I don't farmer. know what that is. Farmer. farmer, what does a farmer do? Granjero, miss. Yes, exactly. So yeah. how, how do you say crecer or plantar? What do they do? Grow, grow, up. grow, exactly. They grow plants, they grow fruits, vegetables. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, what about this one? Carden, what's that? Carden. What is that? The last letter is R. The first letter is D. 
First letter, D. Last letter, R. What's the job? I don't know. First letter, D. Second letter, A. Ya no le puedo dar más. <laughs> so first letter, D. Second letter, A. What is that? And last letter, R. A person who appears with Shakira, Ricky Martin, in the concert, they don't sing. So what do they do? Uh, oh, let, let me give you another example. Oh my God. Okay. Um, Chajan is a good... Dancer teacher. Yes, dancer. Exactly. So the one is a dancer. Yeah, so they don't sing, right? They perform. Okay. What about this one? Singer. There's, exactly. That's a singer. What is, can you tell me the name of your favorite singer? Singer es como cantante, teacher. That is the one. Exactly. Who is your favorite singer? Um... Joaquín Sabina. My Ooh, favorite singer. Joaquín wow. Sabina. Trova. Okay. Okay. What about the rest? Who is your favorite singer? Salsa. Okay. So your favorite music is salsa. And what about singer? Who is your favorite singer? In salsa, I have a pick with uh, Gilberto Santa Rosa. Oh, Gilberto Santa Rosa. Okay. Okay. I mean, th that's fine. As long as you don't tell me. Uh, Eddie Santiago. So, Romeo Santos, I think you're good. <laughs> no, that's Man, fine. No, no. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's fine. <laughs> Just really, who is your favorite singer? The group uh, is Christian. Yes, I'm not. Christian. Yes. Oh, Christian music. Wow, oh, okay. What is the name? Nielsa Marco. Okay, okay. I think I have it. Is that a band? Yes, it's a band. Okay, yeah, I think I haven't heard that. So I think in that in that kind of music, I prefer reggaeton cristiano. I don't know if that is a genre, <laughs> but I really like it. So I really like, um, oh my God, Honky, I think it's called. So that's my favorite. Oh, you see, so that's reggaeton cristiano. <laughs> but it's reggaeton, so it's super crazy. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, the other one, I think you said that before. So yeah, that's a doctor. And the last one, what about the last? What is the last job? Pilot. Pilot, exactly. So here we have some jobs, and we are going to be talking about some prohibitions they have, some things they cannot do. For example, tell me about a pilot. What is something that the pilot cannot do? Pilot Salvadorian Dar Dardan se llama. Dardan. Es bien famoso, dice. Okay. But, but talking about prohibitions, que es algo que los pilots no pueden hacer. Something they cannot do. Como una prohibición of their job. Dream beef. Okay, drink beer, get drunk. Yeah, I mean, yes, yes. Can no you way. Use, use glass? No way. Use glass. You no pueden usar lentes, teacher, pero de, de aumento, o sea, solo para sol. Ah, uh, okay. What? Really, Marvin? Sí, sí, es cierto eso. Is that for real? Wow, I didn't know. They cannot wear glasses? So, is it no tiene los ojitos bien? What if they have problems in their eyes? Ya no es piloto. No, I didn't know. Wow, thank you for that. I didn't know. That is new for me. Okay. What about a singer? What is something that a singer cannot 
do, I mean, like a prohibition of a singer, any idea? Or a dancer? Drink water, God. Drink water? Ah, yes, drink, that, drink water, hot. Como dice ella, tiene razón. Like hot or cold. Cold. Cold, right? I think they cannot, <laughs> yeah, cold. So I think they cannot drink cold water because of the vocal cords. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's a very good point. Um, what about a clown? Any idea what is something that a clown cannot do? Something that is not permitted? A clown, the one that's serious, McDonald's? Serious. Okay, a clown cannot be serious. Talent. Yeah, that's true. Don't what have is talent. Brian? Cry. Cry. <laughs> okay, yeah, they cannot cry, exactly. Today, for example, I was checking Facebook in the afternoon and I saw Adora Exploradora, um, it's not a clown. How do you call them? The people who wear dresses or disguises of famous um, cartoons like Dora Exploradora? No. Uh, uh, okay, a person was wearing a disguise. Estaba vistiendo un traje, right? Un disfraz. The person was wearing a, disca a disguise as Dora Exploradora, but he was screaming. Dora Exploradora is a girl. Y la voz era de un hombre, but it was super funny. It was not a clown, but uh, the boy was like, okay, what, you know, and, and that was like super, super funny. I will, I will send you, I will share that later with you. Okay, so let's go ahead and check today some um, prohibitions. Take a look at the question that I have prepared for you, this intro. It says, name some activities you cannot do in these places because you could go to jail. Question, what is the meaning of jail? What is jail? Mm -hmm. What's jail? It's a place. So what is that? Jail is for example, Mariona is a jail or a prison. Son dos palabras para lo mismo. So it says, name some activities you cannot do in these places because you could go to jail or you could go to prison. Lo cual es lo mismo. For example, at the beach. Tell me an activity that you cannot do at the beach, guys. Ride a motorcycle. Uh -huh. Okay, exactly. Ride a motorcycle. You cannot do it because they take your motorcycle. Okay. Another activity you cannot do at the beach. And some beaches prohibited uh, uh, carry on uh, pet. Oh, okay. In El Salvador, uh, for example. In, in, in beach. Oh, okay. So in private beaches, you cannot take pets. Okay, good point. Maybe you cannot, you don't go to prison, but it's not permitted. Okay, very good. Beaches, what else? Something that you cannot do at a beach, guys. Take a motorcycle, take pets, anything else? Um, I would include one word that is in the chat. Okay. That is go naked. In El Salvador, this is not permitted, right? Yes. So, and you could go to prison because of that, okay? So it is a big, big prohibition. You cannot go naked. Anything else, guys? Algo más que se les ocurra? Anything else? Do you know the meaning no. of naked? No, no. <laughs> Okay, so the word naked, I read it in the chat, means with no clothes. Like in some countries, there are nudist beaches, right? But in El Salvador, that's not permitted. So you cannot go naked, right? So sin ropa, desnudo, that's not possible. <laughs> so, or, you know, something bad can happen to us. Um, what about at the church? Maybe you don't go to jail, but it's is going to be very uncomfortable. What is something that you cannot do at, a, at the church? 
like a big prohibition there. Smoke? Exactly, smoking. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, no, se me, no me imagino. <laughs> yeah, I cannot imagine that. Exactly. So, uh, no smoking, please. running, uh, or maybe laugh, laugh? like, ha, 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 ha. okay. So, yeah. laughing, smoking, okay. Anybody else? You can dress short. You can, or you cannot. You cannot short, dress oh. short. Oh, okay. So you cannot wear some shorts, okay. Algo más que se les ocurra? Anything else that comes to your mind, Anita? Not about? Don't use the cell phone. Okay, yeah, so you don't, are not supposed to. Don't say bad words. Yeah, it's true. So you're not supposed to say bad words and it's going to be very uncomfortable if you scream to a person. Okay, good. What about a soccer match? Have you ever gone to a soccer match? Ahora que está jugando El Salvador, you know, everybody is very positive about it. But, ¿alguna vez han ido a un partido? Have you ever been to a soccer match? Yes. Only Brian. Anybody else? Yes, teacher. Okay, so Richard, Brian, Gert. Marvin también. Marvin, okay. Jackie, Sandrita, have you been to a match? El fast match, no? Or there in Santa Ana, Carlos, have you ever been to a match? I saw Alianza versus Tigres. Oh, okay. Brian, Brian paid $100 for yes. say, uh, soccer match. The, no, and so uh, Brian, are, are you Alianza fan? Uh, not, not, uh, not tanto, <laughs> but my father, yes. He, I paid the 100 because wow. the beer, the beer, uh, the cost beer is $5. Wow, that's really yeah. expensive for a match. Yes, yes that is it. Wow, okay, well, <laughs> okay. So yeah, so, some people do it, right? So I think it's up to everybody, but, uh, or maybe you have seen it. So I have seen it on the news, but tell me, what is something that you cannot do at a soccer match or something that you're not supposed to do at a soccer match? Is there any rule, any prohibition? For example, I know that in El Salvador, no se pueden llevar juegos artificiales. So you cannot take some fireworks. <laughs> yes, se puede, okay, okay. Ilegalmente. <laughs> okay, but you're not supposed to, okay. So that is fireworks. Algo más? Anything else? I don't. Uh, Carlos? Don't. Ingresar uh, bebidas. Okay. You, you cannot take drinks. Pregunta. Oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry, Carlos. Lo escucho un poquito lejos. So uh, I listened to you kind of far away. No, no lo pude identificar. What was that? Carlos? Cans. Cans. Like, like the little cans of soda? No, cans. I write in the Oh, chat. guns, like weapons. Like knives, <laughs> weapons, a fire gun. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. You're not supposed to. Nobody can uh, enter or can take some gangs into a place. Okay, okay. Got it. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't get that before. Okay, guns. Exactly. So no guns in a soccer match. No fireworks. Um, no drinks, Bill. you said. I'm Can sorry. Bill. Uh, Bill is a cinturón. Cinturón or cincho is Bill. A belt? Ah, okay. okay. Can you use belt? Really? No se puede ingresar yeah. con belt. Cuando juega, como por ejemplo el Faz Alianza, a los que los ven todos raros les quitan el cincho. A Marvin se oh. lo quitan. <laughs> What? <laughs> What? Okay. 
That's new for oh my god. Pero es que a saber, a saber, a saber cómo van vestidos. Cuando, cuando juega when, when, cuando juega Alianza y Paz o Águila y vienen a los mal encarados, les quitan el cincho. No los dejan en los arcos por las hebillas. Uh -huh. Oh, because it can be like a weapon. Porque puede ser un arma blanca. I guess. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So, okay. I didn't know that. And the next one that we get are just the, the street. ¿Hay alguna regla? ¿Hay alguna prohibición? Something that we cannot do or we are not supposed to do at a street. For example, I would say um, you are not supposed to, no puede tirar la basura. You are not supposed to throw the garbage wherever you want. Pero las personas lo hacen. Yeah, what else? You cannot uh, do immoral acts. Immoral things, okay. Immoral acts, yes. Anything else? You can drive uh, after, no. You can dream and after driving. Exactly, so you are not supposed to do it. Like drink and drive, no, that's a bad combination. Okay, very good. And guys, the last one, the office. I want to listen to the prohibitions in your office. What is something that you are not allowed to do? It's que no los dejan hacer? Smoke. Okay, smoking, um, let me see, girls from, from Ives, Jackie, Anita, and Clary, what about you? Because I know that Ives is being strict, it's very strict. Is there anything use, you cannot do? Use cell phone, no use cell phone. Okay, so you cannot use a cell phone, ¿Qué más? what else? Dress the uniform every day. Every day. Every okay. Day. Okay. So you have to wear your uniform. You cannot use your cell phone. Okay. Esta siempre la regla de no pararse en las líneas. I don't know. I don't know in the Wachapon, but in San Salvador, no se puede parar en las líneas marcadas. <laughs> Very yes. crazy. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's very specific. I know your company is very strict. Um, yes. So, guys, Marvin, Brian, Rene, and Mabel, what about your company? Is your company very you can, strict? You can be without a mask. You cannot. No ah. You can not without a mask. Ah, oh, but that's good. Okay. No, okay. You cannot be without a, a mask, a face mask. Ah, okay. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mascarilla. Uh -huh. yes, yes, a face mask. What is? What is uh, comes to your mind? I... Along, because Don't... the company That's is it? very cool. Oh, okay, okay, interesting. Because some companies are more strict than others, so that's fine. Okay, guys, the topic for today actually it's not can, pero algo similar y pero más fuerte. So we are going to be working today with be allowed to. So be allowed to, in other words, es como no es permitido o sí es permitido. This is what we will be discussing today. And this one says, mention rules and prohibitions at my workplace. I need two volunteers to read this. Um, let me see, I no escuchado these days. Uh, Norbert, I'm going to take you. So thank you so much. And da, 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 da. Jackie, está por ahí, Jackie? So, Norbert, can you help me with Mr. C? And Jackie, me puede ayudar con Sandra. Can you help me with Sandra's part? Thank you. Good morning, Mr. C. I want to know about procedures with the new employee. Well, he is can now continue uh, with house. I see it is because of what happening. Yes, he was cow smoking inside the company. 
um, it is not allowing. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. Is it is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Amazing, guys. Thank you so much. So here we have this word that is allowed. You are not allowed. Everybody, please repeat with me. Allowed. Allow. Allow. Exactly. So allowed, allowed is like, no está permitido, right? Well, you can say it is allowed. Está permitido or it is not allowed. No está permitido. Okay, tell me, what are the prohibitions in this company? ¿Qué es lo que no pueden hacer? What are some rules in this company? Mm -hmm. They are not allowed to? Smoke. Smoke. Okay, they are not allowed to smoke. Sleep. Yes. Sleep. We have uh, a smoking use area. A day cell phone. And use the cell phone, exactly, in work hours. What about in your company? Are you are you allowed to smoke? Uh, we, we have the smoking area, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, you got a smoking area as well. Okay. Yes. Okay. What about the rest? Are you allowed to smoke, guys? No, it's not permitted. No. You're not? No, allowed, allowed, como dijo, allowed. Allowed, allowed. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about sleeping? Are you allowed to sleep in your company? No. Taking a nap, como tomar no. una siesta. Are you allowed to take a nap? Yes. No. Oh, not in my place. <laughs> okay, so Richard said yes. But yes, yes. Okay. yes. Pero in your lunch time. Yes, and time labor. Like, como es su tiempo libre, in your time off. Yes, and uh, no have uh, work. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can take a nap. Wow, okay, yes. nice, nice. Yes. What about your cell phone? Can you, are you allowed to use your cell phone? Yes. Okay. I hold uh, my job. My... Your job? Yes. Okay, so Como you're allowed to? Oh, that's a tool. Yes. Okay. What about the rest of you? ¿Alguien, más, alguien no puede utilizarlo? You're not allowed to use it? Me, teacher. Okay. So, Norberto, you're not allowed to? Not allowed to. Okay. Okay. Wow. So, you can use it until late, I guess. Okay, so we are going to like check this out in a little bit, but let's take a look at the following. Utilizamos, it is not allowed to, to talk about prohibitions that we have in a particular place. For example, it is not allowed, revisemos este, it is not allowed, siempre va a llevar ed, it is not, it is not allowed to smoke inside the facilities. For example, Brandy, so hay áreas de fumadores, like smoking areas. And that's fine. It is not allowed to take tools home. Like, quienes trabajan con herramientas, no se las pueden llevar. So it is not allowed to take tools home. Um, it is not allowed to drink alcoholic beverages. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know, beer, alcohol, and shots, tequila, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it is not allowed to use cell phones, like Norberto's case. It is not allowed to sleep in working hours. I don't think anybody, no creo que alguien le permitan dormirse. Ricardo maybe says like, take a rest, take a nap, but not sleeping. And it is not allowed to run in any area of your company. So this part of it is not allowed in general is no está permitido o si está permitido, right? So let's take a look at this. We are going to use allowed to, but in general, la estructura se llama be allowed to. That is estar permitido. Why be allowed to? Porque yo lo puedo cambiar and I can say, for example, I am allowed to. If I want to say me es permitido, I'm going to say I am allowed to. 
¿ya? Me es permitido hacer esto. Siempre va a llevar el to y el siguiente verbo no se cambia. ¿Ya? For example, um, my boss is very cool. Me es permitido llegar tarde. No me dicen nada. Wow. <laughs> I am allowed to arrive late. ¿Ya? So, me es permitido. But then I can change it, for example, and I say, Mabel, okay, uh, this is verb to be. So what is the conjugation that I need? Mabel, am, is, or are. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Mabel is allowed to, okay, um, work from home, for example, work from home. So I así lo es permitido. She is allowed to work from home. Trabajar desde casa porque no tiene que estar ahí. So she is allowed to. If you pay attention, uh, the example is only it is allowed to, pero no es solamente el único. So we can also use whatever pronoun and we can make it into a prohibition or something that we cannot do or we can do. So I am not allowed, I am allowed to arrive late. Mabel is allowed to work from home. Or when you say, for, for example, uh, at English Corporativo, okay, at English, at, okay, English Corporativo, I see I'm going to write to make it easier. Uh, it is allowed, está permitido, for example, it is allowed to use a translator, right? Translator. So th that is just fine. Está permitido. Now, negative. Si yo quiero decir algo que no está permitido, something that is not permitted in my place, ¿qué es lo que voy a hacer? Easy. En este espacio le voy a agregar solo el not. I am allowed to. I am not allowed to. Mabel is allowed to. Puedo usar la contracción. Mabel isn't allowed to. Es el mismo verb to be, right? Si digo it is allowed to use, lo cambio y digo it isn't allowed to use o la forma de arriba que tenemos, it is not allowed to use. What I want you to pay attention is the following. Este es el mismo verb to be. So, no se preocupen por eso. The only thing that you're saying is es permitido o no es permitido. Are we okay with this? Estamos bien. Do you have any question? And question is Yes, Richard, tell me. And a lot of words, eh, siempre va a ir seguido con el tú. Siempre. No, no va a cambiar, no va a llevar a, no, no va a llevar a nada de eso. No, uh -huh. no, no, no va a llevar. Esta es la forma de decir que sí es permitido. Um, cuando, acá cuando, ya le agregué el not. No lleve, ajá, cuando no lleva el not. Exacto, le quito el not y es permitido. No, so no, no, está bien, está bien, se va a hacer la consulta. No, but, but yes, just to make sure we got this. Siempre va a llevar el to, siempre va a llevar el ed, always. So that's why we say, oh, I am allowed, allowed to, me es permitido. For example, eh, when you go to the airport, ¿qué está permitido? ¿Qué no está permitido? So we can talk about those things. Guys, to get started, um, les voy a dar un par de minutitos, and I want you to write five, solamente cinco para comenzar, five prohibitions at your workplace o cosas que sí pues, es permitida o no es permitida hacer. Por ejemplo, eh, son companies nowadays, you know, um, no permiten relaciones sentimentales, eh, or for example, if you are married, no es, no es permitido que su esposo o su esposa trabaje ahí, right? Como política. So, ¿cómo puedo expresar eso? How can I say that? Can you help me? Quiero decir, no es permitido. Entonces voy a utilizar it. It's not, it's not allowed friendship mm -hmm. um, in the workplace. Ok, pero como necesito el to, so it is not, it is, uy, yo le puse que si es permitido, wait. <laughs> it is not allowed to. Necesito un verbo. Allowed Digamos, to. tener. Ajá, exactly. So it is not allowed to have a... Relationship. Re Personal relationships, uh -huh. personal relationships in the company, in the company, o con compañeros, with co-workers, to make sure we got this straight and we got this right. So it is not allowed to have a personal relationship with co-workers 
o incluso en vez de e, si lo quiero hacer más personal, yo le puedo cambiar por usted, a usted no le es permitido, so I can say, you are not allowed. Y es lo mismo, right? I'm still expressing a prohibition. So, hagamos cinco, guys. No de cosas bien generales como uh, no puedo usar uniforme, but like something unique about your company, algo que sea bien eh, fuerte, something maybe different in your company. So, cinco, I'll give you five minutes. My reality. Hi, Ignacio. My 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 reality is not is not opinion. They're different. Is mm -hmm. my ability. Uh, which one? I I am I am allowed to work from home because oh. my wife is dying. And yes. you know, but but the classmate. Yes, Ignacio, I know, and, and you know, in my condolences, I know that it's pretty hard. So, um, thank you. Sorry, but our company am not going to, to, to Sabrisa because I am to. I need 14 days the quarantine and oh. and it's a really a situation is not you know is is not the the class topic but the is really my situation and my company don't how close my how close for me after the quarantine yeah you, well you know this is is a really but i'm sorry is my My situation. No, it's it's fine. I, I see, entiendo that you need to express that out. So it's okay, no worries. Um, I, I'm going to I'm going to uh, send you a text. So if you, I think you can text me yeah. there, no worries. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Understand, I understand. Thank. Yeah, I, and I'm and I'm you know deeply sorry about that. Yes.
All righty, guys. Uh, are we ready? Do you need more time? Do you have the five examples? Okay, I'll give you one more minute. Okay, guys, so you're supposed to write five, like five prohibitions of cosas que sí sean permitidas or things that are not allowed in the place. Um, so whenever you get them, okay, si ya tenemos dos, tres, cuatro, it's okay. So we can start working with them. What I want you to do right now is compare. Vamos a ir a los grupos, Anita, eh, para que podamos escuchar también some classmates' opinions. Guys, tomemos nota, please, because when we come back, vamos a contar lo que los compañeros les dijeron. So allow me just a minute. Let me send you over to the groups so you can practice there. Tenemos cinco minutitos. So listen to your classmates, take notes, and then you come back.
Thanks, everybody. So thank you for coming back. Um, I think that you were discussing some of the prohibitions that you have in your in your offices, right? In your places. So um, do I have any volunteers? Somebody would like to tell us a little bit about that. Alguien nos quiere contar un poquito um, de lo que son las prohibiciones in your place and also in your uh, classmates' place. Okay, so I think that we don't have, so it's totally fine. That's good. I can have some big tips. Right, <laughs> so I'm good for that. Thank right, you, Ricardo. Okay, go ahead, please. Uh, he is alone in my world. Do you say tennis? Tennis. Okay. Oh, like shoes. Sí, si, shoes. Sneakers. Si. Okay. No oh, sé si okay. se dice tennis o sneakers. Um, quizás cambiémosle un poquitito a sneakers porque tenis shoes son como bien específicos para jugar tenis y lo que nosotros por lo general usamos son sneakers como uh, zapato, zapato deportivo ajá, pero the daily you know ah, ok, okay. Mm -hmm. and he is not allowing to learn tools eh, no prestar las herramientas entre compañeros ah, de tools Tool. So you're yes. not allowed to lend your tools, okay? Yes. Um, he is not alone to my class. My class. Uh, I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? So you're not allowed to. Okay. He, he is not alone to my miss classes. No es permitido oh, prestar la clase. Oh, here. Yes. Yes, unfortunately, you're not allowed to miss class. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, Richard. They are very good. Moses. Hey, Moses. How you doing? Hello. Tell us, what about your company? Is your company very flexible? Uh, in my company, it is not allowed to enter late. It is not allowed to leave early. Yeah, so you have to it's wait. Okay. Consume the products. What products? <laughs> uh, drinks, carbonated. Oh, like Red Bull, sodas. Adrenaline. Oh, okay. So you're not allowed to drink them. Oh, uh, bravo beer. What a beer. Beers too. Okay. Yeah. No, but you're not allowed to. It is not allowed to damage the product. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you're, uh, you're not damaged. It is not allowed to no. make noise. Oh, in the company? Yes. Do you work in the administration area? Yes. Uh, for example, oh, in meeting. Eh, digo, cerca hay una oficina donde hacen reuniones. Ah, ah, ok. There is like a conference room. Ah, uh, yeah. Ok, so you're not allowed to make, to make noise because of the meetings they have. Ah, oh, yes. In this moment, oh. it's private. Uh, make noise. Mm -hmm. But when you say noise, ¿a qué se refiere? Como gritar? You're not allowed to scream, to laugh, or ah, o sea, make noise de, de caminar. <laughs> oh, eh, solo, no sé, ruido excesivo. Oh, ok. So like to be quiet. So you got to be quiet. Ah, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Oh, got it. Okay, thank you. That was a very nice description. Anybody else? Let me see, let me see. Sandrita, uh, are you with us? Is your internet better a little? Probably not, okay. Uh, Marvin, so you're going to be my second volunteer. Marvin, tell us a little bit about uh, your company. So you uh, are your company today. Uh, it is no, it, my company is not allowed to dress ca casually or informal mm -hmm. because I have personal contact with the client. Okay. Also, also 
is it oh, not allowed to receive money from the client? It is a oh. very dangerous. Okay. Uh, uh, but it's allowed to write my report from uh, the street because my company have one up. Uh, your, your name is GCI. I mm -hmm. can write my report from the street. Oh. I, I, I allow that. So Sorry. you can be in the street, you can be in the accident, and from your cell phone, you can make yes. a report. Yes, uh, oh. I have I have take a pic from the app. Uh -huh. uh, I can write my report. Wow. In the app. Yes. Hey, that's nice. Very functional. So very yes, practical, very, very I think. Functional. Yes. Yeah, that sounds yes. good. Okay. So you don't have to wait. Hi, baby. <laughs> So you don't have to wait for it to be ready. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Marvin. That sounds amazing. Okay, guys. So let me just uh, present this here. One second. One second here. Okay. So let's review this part of uh, allowed to or be allowed to. Be allowed to in general expresses permission. Uh, puede ser presente, pasado, futuro. So that's okay. And here we have some examples. I am allowed to watch TV at night. Pero como voy a entender esa parte de I am allowed to watch TV? So this is me es permitido, right? I am allowed to, o si fuera negativo, I am not allowed to, no me es permitido. Pero no quiero decir que yo permita algo, sino que a mí. Alguien más me lo permite o me lo prohíbe. If you say, for example, I was allowed to go to the cinema yesterday, es como que sus papás le den permiso. <laughs> and you say, oh, I was allowed to uh, go to the cinema yesterday. So, no es que yo le permití a alguien, sino que a mí me lo permitieron. So, to taking this topic into account, veamos entonces, como yo digo que yo permito algo, right? So, how can I say then, yo permito o yo doy permiso de algo? Since we are talking about rules, prohibitions, etc., revisamos la diferencia entre the following sentences. I am allowed, I am allowed to use the card uh, twice a week. Okay, so, ¿qué entiendo por eso? What is your understanding from this sentence? ¿A qué me refiero? Puedo usar, puedo usar mi tarjeta, no, mi, mi vehículo, ¿verdad? El, mm -hmm. el fin de semana, no. Mm, dos veces it. a la semana, miss. Exactly, twice a week, yeah. So I am allowed to is like, ¿quién me lo está permitiendo first? My wife. Okay, I like it. <laughs> I like that answer. <laughs> so, okay, that's a very good point. El dueño del vehículo, right? <laughs> so I am allowed to use the car twice a week. Probably your wife. O si el carro es de su hermano, my brother, o si es de la empresa, your company, right? Pero no es que usted permita, sino que a usted le dan permiso, right? So, then, ¿cómo digo entonces yo permito o yo doy, yo doy permiso para esto? Hay otra palabra que vamos a ver ahora, que es let. Let es lo opuesto, no es que a mí me lo permita, sino yo que yo permito. ¿Han escuchado alguna vez como, hey, let's go? <laughs> Have you heard? Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. So let is the permitir. Okay. So normally I can use it like I let. Yo permito. Ahora es diferente. Ya no me dan permiso, sino que yo permito algo, right? Um, for example, for example. Yes. I let it allow let. you come my home late. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahora con el let ya no voy a utilizar ni allow to, ni voy a utilizar... Tú, no lo necesito. Solamente utilizo el verbo. ¿Qué es lo que yo permito? Eh, Marvin, ¿qué es lo que permite? I'm sorry. Eh, I let, I let, allow. Mm -hmm. eh, quiero ver si se me olvidó. You come late, eh, you come late for my, for my home. De que puedes venir tarde a mi casa. Okay. So, for example, digamos que usted permite que sus amigos lleguen o no, alguien llegue a la para casa. Los hijos, para los hijos. Oh, okay. So, vamos a usar hijos here. So, I let my children. Hijos podemos usar siempre la palabra children. No importa si están mayores o bebés, so children. I let my children arrive late at night. So, 
Exactly. That's a very good example. Thank you so much, Marvin. So I love my children. Ahora sí es como yo le permito a mis hijos. Normally here, yo puedo decir a quién. I let. Yo permito. I am allowed to. A mí me es permitido. ¿Ven la diferencia? Do you see the difference here? Teacher. Yes. 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 No, no se parecía en nada a la oración que yo dije, pero sí se ve la diferencia. <laughs> no, but, but, but I got it. I got your idea. So it's perfect. Yes, Anita. Y ahí no lleva a lo Ya no lleva a to. Porque a to es permitir. Eh, let también es permitir. Pero el uso que le estoy dando es diferente. Con let yo digo a quién yo le estoy permitiendo algo. For example, I let. Guys, ¿a quiénes le permiten? Who, do you have babies? Do you have children? Ya no usamos el allow, ¿verdad, teacher? Ya no vamos a utilizar el allow. Ahora lo cambiamos por el eh, let. Son dos verbos como bien diferentes, pero ambos son para prohibiciones. So it's very interesting. Um, I, I let my personal work from home. Work mm, with, working from home. Solo que let es yo permito. Pero si yo por ejemplo, si yo por ejemplo. Oh, for example, si yo fuera su jefe Marvin, so I let Marvin work from home. ¿Qué ven en el verbo? What do you see in the verb? ¿Lo cambio? Eh, no, no está cambiando. No, cambios. Está no, no está mm -hmm. normal. Exactly, no lo estoy cambiando. So we don't change it. So I let Marvin work. I let my children arrive. So es como yo el permito. Si están casados, por ejemplo, y yo say, oh, dejo que mi esposo o mi esposa conteste mis mensajes. I don't know. <laughs> If this is your case, I mean, tell me it's like, no. <laughs> okay, so I let my husband or I let my wife uh, check the, um, no, answer, let's say, answer the, the um, text messages. Do you do it? Husband, this is the other way around. So, but lo permiten? Do you do you let it? Do you allow it? No, right? Probably not. So, entonces, como digo que yo no permito? How can I say that? Very easy. Ahora, como el verbo es diferente, yo tengo let. Yo solo lo hago con el verbo, eh, con el auxiliar don. I don't let. Yo no permito. I don't let it be. I don't let my husband answer this. I don't let, no dejo que mi jefe me grite. I don't let my boss eh, scream or yell at me. Yeah. So I don't let my coworkers take advantage of my, I don't know. So let es permitir, be allowed es permitir, but you know, ambos son un poquito diferentes. So guys, give me one. Now give me five. Deme cinco ejemplos de cosas que ustedes permiten o no permiten. Whatever works for you. So, podemos utilizar let o podemos utilizar don't let. No vamos a usar allow to y tampoco ni siquiera el to. Así que let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Cinco minutos. You got five minutes. Si tienen dudas, let me know. Si no está claro, let me know y lo revisamos again. No problem.
One more minute. Okay, guys, so help me with your examples, please. What do you have? What do you let uh, people do? Tears. Yes, Guadalupe, tell me. I don't let my dog sleep in my bed. Okay. Oh, your dog, not your daughter. Not my dog. Oh, your dog. I heard daughter. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> no, neither I do I. Or uh, oh, okay. Okay. So you don't let the dog. Okay. What else? What else do you have? I have two You children. have two children. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So boys. You have yes. two boys. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. Do you have more examples? Yes, um, I don't let my children gay in the street uh, in the night. Okay, how old are they? Uh, it's 16. Both? No, the, the last. The okay. first 28. Oh, so yep. 28 and 16. No, but they are young. Uh-huh. So, wow, you look very young. <laughs> okay, okay. So you don't let your children go out. Very nice. And it's dangerous, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? Who's got another one? Uh, Norbert, tell me about it. Yo soy lo contrario. Mari, what let, do you have? I let my pets sleep inside my home. <laughs> Oh, but, but not in your bed, or yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, uh, mm -hmm. uh, sleep, sleep inside my home. So, but, but it's sleep in your house or it's sleep in your bed? Que eso es como la sala, teacher. No, the, the bed is la cama. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. No, en la sala. Mm, in the living room. In the living room. Oh, okay. yes. Okay. Not in your room. <laughs> Oh, Not in your bed with your blankets, con sus sábanas and everything. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so there. In the night, walking more cat for my garden. Okay. Eh, entonces se ponen enojados y ladran. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, I know, I know. Um, especially cats, you know, they make like a big mess too. Okay. Thank you. Uh, never let us listen. Uh, yeah, okay. I think Ingrid is ready too. So let's listen to Norbert first. Nar Norbert, give us some examples. Yes, teacher. Um, I let my children watch TV. Oh, 
what? What programs? Watch TV, um, in Netflix, uh, videos the, for, for children. Okay. Okay, um, so you let them watch TV, all right. Uh, other example, um, I don't let children use my, compu my, my computer. Okay. Yeah, I don't let my nephews or nieces use my computer, but I let them use my cell phone and check YouTube. <laughs> so this is crazy. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, anybody else? Ingrid, I think you had an example for us. Oh, I see that she was only going to be listening, but, but Ingrid, if you have an example, let us know. So that's fine. Okay. Um, let me see anybody else. Any... Hi, Brenda. Gracias por acompañarnos. Thanks a lot for joining. Uh, Carlos, ¿tiene algún ejemplo para nosotros? Do you have any example? Uh, Mabel, do you have example for us? Yes. With let? Thank yes. you. Go ahead, please. Um, I let my children to sleep late on Fridays. Mm, okay, what do you mean by late? <laughs> what time? Uh, one to be. <laughs> to Ooh, be that's very late. Okay. Al siguiente día. So next day. Uh -huh. So uh, a.m. Wow. Or a veces, ¿cómo sería? Sometimes. 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 Uh, 11 p.m. Uh, Pero, but, uh -huh. but uh, sometimes 1 uh, a.m. the next day. <laughs> but do you supervise them? Yes. Oh, with me, so you with stay. Me. Oh, okay, okay. No, but that's different because you are with them. Mm -hmm. With me so in my cool. house, what, um, we watch TV or como es juego de mesa? Uh, play board games. Play board games or board games. Anything, anything. Uh huh. No, but but that's nice because it's like family time. So it's yes. not they playing video games, but you do something together. No, that's amazing. Okay, mm -hmm. but but super late. <laughs> okay. Right. So uh huh. But I guess because they don't have classes on Saturday or Sunday, so. Okay. That sounds great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys. Anybody else? I haven't heard. Oh, Rene? Are you still working, Rene? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. But I don't know if you created some examples. Are you okay? Are you busy? I let my brother to hit me. No, why? <laughs> Don't because do yes <laughs> repeat i <laughs> let my i uh, know sorry i i don't let my brother into oh. me. yes <laughs> sorry saying, sorry why? <laughs> yes Okay, you so, yeah, <laughs> No, I mean, just the idea. I, I was like, why? Why does Marvin hit you? Okay, you don't let Marvin hit you. What else? Um, Anything else that you let or you don't let? I let uh, my brother call me myself for any hour or 24 hours. Oh, okay. oh, that's so cute. Like brother's time, brother's <laughs> relationship. Okay, I like it a lot. Okay, guys, very good job with this. Now let's, I have some exercises for you. Okay. And now, ahora si vamos a utilizar be allowed to o vamos a usar let. Remember, be allowed to es como que a mí me lo permiten and let es yo permito. So let's pay attention to the meaning of this a lot. For example, number one says, my roommate reminded me that passengers are not allowed to or don't let use electric, electronical operated devices on the plane. So, vamos a escoger una de las dos. We have to select only one. My roommate, como mi compañero de habitación, my roommate reminded me, yeah, so me recordó, he told me that passengers are not allowed to, 
Are, are not allowed to use or don't let use? ¿Cuál sería más adecuada? What do you think would be better? So, les voy a dar cinco minutitos to complete the exercise. Lo pueden escribir, you know, you can write it in the chat or you can activate your microphone and let me know the answer. That's okay. Cinco minutos, guys. Five minutes. Ya casi nos vamos, así que let's do it. Let's do it. I was talking in mute. Guys, uh, do you have the answers? 
my room may mm -hmm. remind me that passenger uh, don't leave. No, perdón. Are not allowed use uh -huh. electronic opera device on the plane. Yes, very good. Exactly. Exactly. That's excellent. Okay, give me one Miss, second. Yes. I have a question. De, dígame, Miss. Tell me, tell me. Um, no sé si yo estoy equivocada. Uh -huh. um, cuando uso, lo voy a decir en español porque no puedo decir Dígalo. en inglés todo. <risa> It's okay. Cuando usamos el allow, puedo utilizar todos los sujetos. I, she, he, it, we, they. Uh -huh. pero, si utilizo yes. el, pero si utilizo el let, solamente voy a utilizar el I o puedo utilizarlo en todos los sujetos. Sí, puedo utilizarlo en todos los sujetos because ah, okay. let es un verbo. Um, uh -huh, acá yes. porque solamente utilicé I, ¿verdad? Pero imagine, por ejemplo, que yo lo quiero cambiar. And I say, Claribel, let her baby. Ya lo voy a corregir. I will tell you why. Um, sleep with her, por ejemplo. So, um, el let no es que me esté evitando algo, actually. Es forma como, o funciona como un auxiliar en este caso, que es de permitir. Pero algo bien interesante con let es que let sí permite el cambio a terceras personas. Es como un verbo más. So, Claribel lets her baby. Eh, no va el apóstrofe porque no es como let's go. Es bien diferente. So, this is let's, permite. Uh, pero yo también lo puedo cambiar y puedo decir Claribel en Guadalupe um, en uh, en Guadalupe, digo que ambas, you know, que ellas permiten que sus bebés duerman con ellas. So, I got Guadalupe. So, ya no le agrego S porque son varias. Y en vez de decir her baby, yo digo los bebés de ellas, right? So, en vez de her, también voy a cambiarlo a with them. Claribel en Guadalupe, let their babies sleep with them. So, um, sí se puede, puedo util utilizar let con todos los pronombres. Quizás, eh, eh, sí, Ingrid, sí se puede, solo que en vez de let, como es una de tercera persona, yo tengo que hacer el cambio al verbo. Por ejemplo, I have um, Ricardo, right? So, Ricardo, en vez de let, como es tercera persona, yo hago el cambio acá. So, Ricardo, let's. Uh, his baby is slip y ahora también hago el cambio con them para him y eso es todo so si sí se puede lo pueden utilizar en cualquiera de ellos uh -huh. no sé si respondí su pregunta Thank you, la dejé como yes. a dudas no yes. <laughs> ok con negativos es igual mis. so I say for example Ricardo um, solo que yo no puedo decir Ricardo don't I say Ricardo doesn't So Ricardo doesn't let his baby sleep with him. So siempre vamos con el don, con el doesn't para negativas. So funciona como un verbo más. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, Richard. Uh -huh. Yes, Ingrid. She lets and he lets. Dígame, Anita. Eh, cuando es con tercera persona va a ser lets. Mm -hmm. Como un verbo normal. Ah, yes. ok. Like another okay. verb. Mm -hmm. This is very, very special. Mm -hmm. Ok, so um, decíamos que la primera, so we had that the first is el are not allowed, son los pasajeros, no les es permitido. No es que ellos no permitan, es que a ellos no les es permitido. Number two, ¿quién tiene la dos? Who has number two? The hotel management is allowed to or lets us use the minibar in a room. ¿Cuál sería? So, a ellos les es permitido o ellos permiten? ¿Cuál de las dos? Is allowed to or let's? Is allowed to. Is allowed. Ok, the hotel management is allowed to, pero después de to está esta, perdón, está esta palabra que es us. Como a It's nosotros. So, the hotel management. Es les. Let. Mm, exactly. So let us, the hotel management, let us use the minibar. Eh, les voy a dar un tip también. Después de allow to, necesito un verbo. 
So, en este caso, no puede ser el auto porque está la palabra as, lo cual no es un verbo, es nosotros. Nos deja a nosotros. So, let us is good. Very good. Number three. Holiday makers are not allowed to or don't let interfere with the timetable arranged by the tour guide. Holiday makers, no les es permitido interferir o no inter o ellos um, no dejan interferir. What would be the one? Holiday makers son los que hacen los itinerarios, right? De vacaciones and those things. Are no, are no. Exactly, Guadalupe. So, holiday makers are not allowed to. Y porque también después de acá tenemos el verbo interfere directamente. So, yes. Holiday makers are not allowed to interfere with the timetable arranged by the tour guide. Four, John's parents are allowed to or let him have an expensive holiday. ¿Cuál de las dos? Which of them? Let, 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 let him. Very good. Let, exacto. No hay verbo. Very good. You got it. You got it. Number five. I am not allowed to, or I don't let go out in the evening. Eh, I not allowed to, porque lleva el go. Porque lleva el go directamente después. Exactly. So I am not allowed to go out in the evenings. Qué triste, right? <laughs> so a esta persona no la dejan salir en la noche. So I'm not allowed to go out in the evening. Um, do you have any question? Tienen alguna preguntita con esto? Any question? Are we good? Are we fine? Fine. So I think we're good. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Give me one sure. second. Yes, Ricardo. Eh, en, la, en las antes de ver el led estábamos hablando de, de allow. ¿sí? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, vaya. Entonces aquí mi pregunta es cuando yo voy a ocupar you, ¿cómo sería? Porque aquí solo sale eh, the is not. Entonces el you tengo una duda. ¿Cómo Diga. sería la oración en, en ese, con you? You are not alone. To Hello. use a cell phone. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. No so yo puedo you. decir I am, you are, como siempre necesito el verbo to be. So eso no me va a cambiar. So I can use he, I can use she, or I can use it. Then we have they, we have we, and we have well, y you ya está. So, eh, ¿qué es entonces lo que va a suceder con ellos? It's exactly the way you mentioned. El allow to, no me cambia, se escribe igual para todos ellos. Okay. So, I am allowed to, a mí me es permitido. You are allowed to, a ti te es permitido. She is allowed to, or it is allowed to. Oh, we are allowed to. A nosotros nos es permitido. So all of them is exactly the same. Y para todos necesito como un verbo después. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá. En esa, en esa parte siempre va a ir el verbo después. Cuando sí. es el let, ya no va a llevar el verbo. Necesito Entonces, después del let. Acción. Sí, después del, por lo general del let. Lleva una palabra adicional como let me. Ah, como Dije, una, oh. como un. Diga, dígame, dígame. No, no, no. No, tell me, tell me. Cuando dice, no, es que no sé cómo, me permite. No sé, no sé cómo explicar, no sé cómo decirle la, la palabra esa. O sea, no lleva verbo, pero sí lleva otra parte que es eh, como una acción, por decirlo así. Eh, no sí, puede, si bien, puede, así. puede estar como desnuda. Ah, <ríe> correcto, Puede correcto. estar desnuda, ok. Eh, sin sí. el I, sin el you. Pero después de let siempre va a llevar una palabra adicional. Ese es un pronombre. Por ejemplo, let me. Oh, ayud, permíteme ayudarte. Let me do it. Déjame hacerlo. Right? Déjame ayudarte. Let me help you. Déjame llamarte. Let me call you. Yeah? So let me es como también de permitir, pero um, usted está ofreciendo su ayuda en este caso. We, can, we will check this later. Pero la idea principal era esta, que el let también me ayuda para eh, hablar de prohibiciones, ¿right? Ah, o sea, que um, para, para, uh -huh. no para no confundirlo, podemos tomarlo así como le digo, que el allow lleva siempre un, 
un verbo y el, el et lleva una palabra de esto. Sí, lleva un, pro, sí, eh, no un pronombre. Exacto. Ah, un pronombre, pronombre adicional. Sí, se me había uh -huh. ido. Ah, es como okay. let me, let him. Ah, hay de jalo. <risa> let ah, him do okay. it. Exacto. Siempre lleva algo adicional. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Okay. Thank you. That's the one. You're welcome. We will continue working with this. Uh, we got the general idea of be allowed to, so I'm really happy about it. Lo utilizaron súper bien. Así que, guys, eh, bueno, ya casi nos vamos. Yes, Guadalupe, tell me. Uh, can I use uh, with como, like question? Sí, vamos a revisarlo mañana. We will be checking that tomorrow. Uh -huh. Para okay. hacer preguntas si es permitido o no. Yes. Eh, guys, creo que alguien, eh, le voy a robar unos minutitos. Alguien tenía dudas con las preguntas. Creo que era Ricardo. No sé si alguien más ha tenido dificultades con la plataforma. So we can check it really quick. O podemos ver como algún eh, workaround. Algo que podemos hacer para que les marque bien. And the homework, homework eight, number eight. Okay, number eight. Permítame un segundo solo. Cargo acá. Okay, uh, Ricardo, creo que you have a question. Había un ejercicio que no le estaba marcando, yes. right? Yes, igual. Uh, hay uno de esto de lo que acabamos de hablar que mm -hmm. se pone la oración correcta y la tacha como mal siempre. Entonces, okay. por eso le preguntaba con el you, Ajá, esa parte que esa es el número 8, okay. que se pone eh, correctamente como es y todas las pone mal. Esta de acá. Yes, yes. Ok, form or not, I'll pay attention to the pronouns. Ok, eh, Guadalupe, ¿cuál es eh, la dificultad que le está dando este ejercicio? Eh, I, yo creo que. ¿Lo es... vimos, Ricardo? Uh, Está, es con la, la clase que vimos ahora, por eso que no la entendía. Pero hmm, voy a probar. Ok, ok, ok. Yeah, please, check it out. Déjenme ver, let me just take a look here. Um, sí, puede ser porque nos esté faltando algo, right? Por ejemplo, nos puede faltar el verbo ir. Eh, con este ejercicio del día de ahora, lo único que yo les puedo adelantar es no van a escribir la oración completa. No sé, Ricardo, si eso le está dando dificultad. La instrucción dice, identifique el error, right? O identifique qué es lo que falta. Entonces, no van a escribir la oración completa, solo el pedacito este del verbo to be, allow to y lo demás. Eso es todo. Entonces, puede ser que también eso es lo que les esté marcando mal, con el número 8, right? Eh, ¿Hay otro ejercicio que les está marcando mal, guys? No more? Ok, cualquier cosa, let me know eh, and I will be paying attention. Yes, teacher, el 6, la, la parte 6. Eh, eh, mm, mm, el número 6. Sí. O el del día lunes. ¿Cuál es el ejercicio? Eh, ya, lo, mm. ya lo comparto, pero. Es, Con 5. Yes, eh, aparece uno que es. Si quiere, voy a ver si puedo compartir la, la imagen. Acá lo tengo, acá se lo ah, comparto. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Es, es, es la, la, de, la, la misma que dice distribución. Entonces, okay. es, esa eh, ya le puse, bueno, en lo personal ya, ya topé con esa. Ok, de la número tres es que le comentaba la vez anterior. Algunas sí. veces no se la va a aceptar si usted le escribe completa. Entonces, como la instrucción solamente dice, no sé por qué me parece eso. Ok, la instrucción dice, find a mistake and correct it. Lo único que van a escribir es la palabra de forma correcta. Por ejemplo, number three. Digamos que yo considero que el error está con la palabra center, que no tendría que ser center, sino que center singular. So yo vengo y yo voy a escribir no la oración, sino solo la muy palabra que hace falta. O donde okay. esté el error. Eso es todo. So, give it a try, porque solo es una palabra de tres letras. Ya no le puedo decir más. Sí, sí, pero a, a, lo, a lo que voy es eso, que las demás sí salen correctas poniéndolas completas. Ya. Yeah. Entonces, eh, eh, o sea... Hay, hay un glitch, que... hay un pequeño error en el sistema, but yes. Uh... Yeah. Por eso es que vamos viendo también como el workaround, de qué manera podemos solventarlo. Yeah, okay. si encuentran, yeah, like, yeah. any other exercise, let me know. Solo es la palabrita. Uh -huh. That's Entendí the one. Cómo es esto, yeah. 
Okay. Thank you. No worries. So, no se desvele haciéndolo. <laughs> okay, guys. Eh, vamos a pasar asistencia. You take me con la camarita, please. Just like one, two minutes. Let me see your faces. And let me, let me just take it. Um, Anita, me confirma, please. Give me some verbal confirmation. Present teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Ahí está Brenda. So, Brian. Uf, se me congeló. Creo que Brian estaba por ahí. Carlos. Hello, present. Thank you. Uh, Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Thank you, Jackie. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Jocelyn. Present. Thank you, Norberto. I am here, present. Thank you so much, Ignacio. Present teacher. Thank you so much, totally appreciate it. Marvin Bonilla. I be here, present teacher. There you go, thank you. Uh, Miriam, Miriam, Clary. I am here, Miss. Thank you so much. Moses. Here, teacher. Pedrina, well, Pedrina tenía problemas con el audio. Uh, René. Present. Thank you, Ricardo. Well, I was listening present, to Present, 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 present. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sandra. I think it's Sandra too. Uh, Mabel. Present teacher. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you for the confirmation. And Ingrid, que creo que se tenía problemas con el audio. All right, everybody. So thank you. Thank you, Ingrid. Got it. All right. Thanks, everybody. Um, today is Wednesday. Recuerden que tienen hasta el día viernes para completar las actividades for week number one. Y tienen también que completar el video. So please, empiecen a subir sus videos, guys. Eh, have fun, enjoy them, hasta que les quede bonito que a ustedes les gusta, right? Have a good night, everybody. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye bye. Enjoy you. the rest of bye your bye. night. Sweet dreams. Sweet bye. dreams <laughs> are made of this. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you.